Hi guys, uh, to all you chronic pain sufferers, I wanted to bring a bit of hope to you and I also wanted to make you feel better about yourselves. Uh, I advise you to do as much exercise as you possibly can. If you've got a dog, take it out daily, if at all possible. The one thing that's kept me going, even with a bad back and being in extreme pain, is when I'm able to take a dog out, I will take my dog out for a walk. I've got a beautiful forest near me and it really helps my mental state of mind. Uh, I often walk with friends as well, so you get that social um, uh, interaction as well. Uh, if not, I advise you to do any exercise possible. I managed to do some Pilates earlier this year before my back gave way again. Unfortunately, my back's being reset, but as soon as it's back in again, I'll be doing Pilates again. My weight has been anywhere between uh, 11 stone and 16 stone since taking all these opiates, uh, pregabalin and diazepam as well. The, before this, I was a builder and very much into martial arts. Uh, I've done Thai boxing for 10 years and MMA for 4 years. I was just starting to teach kids MMA. I've been doing personal training for people in boxing. I uh, really enjoyed myself. I really took my Thai boxing uh, very, very seriously. Before that, I've been weightlifting since I was 20. So I've always kept myself in shape and known how to wake up when needed as well. Uh, unfortunately on these pills my weight has rocketed up and down, I even started smoking tobacco at one point when I was severely depressed for some reason. I gave that up at New Year's just stopping it dead, realising what a bad move that was. It was self punishment basically. I got off that straight away with no issues and managed to drop my weight down from 16 stone to below 15 stone now and on the right track. When I was to be managing to do Pilates earlier on this year before my back gave way, my weight was even dropping below that and was again below 14 and a half stone. I think I would now be on track to be about 13 stone if I'd been able to keep up with it. Uh, but be back at that Pilates soon. Uh, I want all of you in chronic pain to just, just bear in mind, do what you can. You pick your things that you can do. If you hurt from it, then you've learned the lesson. Don't do it again. Don't try to climb too big a mountains. I wouldn't go to an MMA class now because I know oh, it's not possible for me to do. Um, but I have got a Pilates instructor who do personal training and uh, knows my chiropractor so they can interact with each other and come up with programs that suit me. Uh, this is very important. You need to get yourself a good chiropractor and a good team for recovery. The NHS in this country just really don't provide a good team for you. If you get a good NHS physio, you're very, very lucky. Most of the time, they won't actually touch you. In my case, I need my whole pelvis reset. Um, and there's no way a physio is going to be able to do that. So, you know, you've really got to find the right right person for you. Uh, it took two or three osteopaths before I found the right one. I'd even used one for years and years. It was very good. Uh, but just said there's no way you could touch the lower discs. Uh, but eventually I came up with a fantastic chiropractor. Uh, I will check with her before I mention her details because I don't want a flood of people coming through her door without, uh, uh, you know, uh, finding out if that's okay first. Um, she had a two month waiting list for me to even get in there so it's not like she needs a trade um, but she's absolutely fantastic I've been with her for about a year and she's really changed my life um, I, it turns out that I, before, previously I used to walk with quite a bounce to my walk this was due to my pelvis always being out so my back had always been against it no one had ever picked this up before uh, she managed to stop this now and people don't even recognise me because I don't even walk the same so anyway, I'm just testing out my new camera gear, but want to advise all of you just try to stay positive, try to get as much exercise in as you can, because you'll feel better for it. That bowl of ice cream might taste good for five minutes, but it's, you're going to feel pretty awful afterwards. You know, you really do. You think, oh God, I feel really, oh, terrible from it. If you don't, take stock and actually think of how you feel after you eat certain foods. I really advise you to try to get three good meals in a day, even if, the drugs, the opiates make you not want to um, force yourself to. At one time, I even had to switch over to pre-made meal drinks, uh, Ultra Meal um, by NutriAvance. I'm not uh, being paid off by them, but anything similar like that, they do hemp protein drinks as well. Uh, this one was just about palatable, wasn't the nicest thing in the world, but got calories into me. That was at a stage where I could literally probably eat that and a bowl of wheat a bit today. 
but slowly I got my eating back up again just by concentrating, uh, pushing through the you know depression that I had, getting fresh air and slowly eating better and better fruit into my diet and then probably overeating after that when I when I gave tobacco up. But now I'm in a much better place and I want to advise all of you if you can, do what you can. Don't hurt yourself. There is a limit, you know, I can sometimes overdo it and I'm sometimes in pain for a day or two. But it's much better to be in pain for a day or two occasionally than be sitting at home feeling depressed, feeling sorry for yourself. I think it's very sad that some people have good health and they sit at home, you know, eat bad food, wonder why they feel terrible and can't get up and get on and get on with their own lives. But you know, that, that's their call in life. Um, it's just very sad. If, and, and I'm unable bodied, but still managed to push through it. And I think all of you, able bodied or not, get out there, get as much exercise as you can in you, get going, and you will feel better about life. Anyway, that's my preaching over with for the day. I'm unable to do much myself, but I've had my walk for the day, and now this is my preaching over with for the for, for now. Uh, diazepam drop coming up tomorrow. Gearing myself up for it, getting a bit manic. I'm going to win this fight. Um, prescription jokes, I'm kicking your ass. Um, great film watched by Chris Bell called Prescription Fugs. Um, by uh, uh, basically about Oxycontin and drugs like that in the US and pregabalin and diazepam, all that sort of thing that I'm on. And it just shows what a crooked industry the, the, the pharmaceutical industry is. They're producing drugs that are worse than heroin and just leaving you on them. Uh, I've slipped through the net and I imagine that I'm one of many that has. Um, I hear there's up to 15% of people in the UK addicted to prescription drugs or some sort of over-the-counter drugs from the chemist. Uh, this just proves that's a far bigger rate of anyone addicted to crack or addicted to coke or addicted to heroin even, uh, all those figures combined. So what destructive drugs there are. There needs to be more help out there for people. Anyone wants any advice about their drugs, please, please ask in the comment section. I'm not a registered doctor, I'm not actually registered to help, but I can hopefully give you some advice and it's up to you if you want to take it. If I don't know the answer to the question, I won't answer it. Simple as that. Um, we keep positive, guys, and let's have a good weekend. Bye.